Tom Untemeyer, the Chief Technology Officer at Natural Shrimp, and I want to show you our production building here in La Paz, Texas. As you can see, everything's running fine. Uh, we had a fire with the water treatment plant that contained our filtration equipment. We were able to bring in backup equipment, though, and get everything uh, contained. And so right now, uh, we're assembling the uh, emergency trailer. We have PCs. Well, I just wanted to show you the building that was affected by the fire behind me and as you can see the it's still standing uh, the inside of the building uh, was scorched and what was inside the building got damaged uh, of course we're going to replace this but it won't take as much to replace this it's, uh, it's still standing right now uh, it was the only building that was affected during the fire okay I want to show you the emergency trailer that we're putting together for filtration and as you can see over here I'll show you the, we have a drum filter and we have ECs that are going in the trailer and all this is being assembled uh, this will actually serve as an emergency filtration that we can take to anywhere so we can we can use it here because we had a replacing the water treatment plant but we can also take it to other locations like Florida Vegas wherever we go and in here we'll have additional ECs. Uh, we'll have seven or eight ECs in here. We'll have hydro gas. We have drum filters. Everything will be in here that we can roll up to the facility and get started uh, as we ramp up a facility. These are the three ECs that we set up temporarily inside the building to filter the water in the production building. Uh, these used to, the ECs used to be over in the water treatment plant. We set these up in here temporarily until we get the emergency trailer fully functional. Anyway, these three are handling the whole production building right now, and it's working fine. And so the water flows out of the shrimp tanks, comes into the ECs, and after the ECs, then it goes to the carbon tank. The carbon tank can move the line of the ammonia and chlorine, which comes from it. So in the chamber itself, that's where the magic happens. The chlorine is pulled out of the salt water, combines with the ammonia, forms chloramine, it's taken out by the carbon filters and then heads back to the uh, shrimp tanks. I want to show you the hydro gas units that we have set up here. There's two here and then we have two more over on the other side of the building. But these are tied into all the shrimp tanks now. We're providing hydro gas to all the shrimp tanks. And of course the benefit of hydro gas is if there is any kind of ammonia spike, it, it, it keeps the shrimp from stressing. And then also, it, it adds to the health benefit of the shrimp we see in the past, the increased growth rate, survival, and so forth. So anyway, we have this running in the production building now, and we're doing a great job. Megan Alexander, one of our lead technicians here. She's a graduate from Texas A&M. Uh, she's an Aggie? Oh, I didn't know that. You, you can tell she walks backwards when she comes up here. Oh. <laughs> but uh, she's going to explain what she's doing on her, her mission today. All right, right now I am cleaning the hydrogenesis ORP diffuser. Um, yeah, let, let me get in close to show everybody exactly what it is you're doing now. Now, this, this device is what again? An ORP diffuser. ORP, that stands it's, it's for... It's a hydrogenesis machine that uh, pumps the hydrogas into the tanks. You'll see her here shortly, put it back into the tank, and that's what uh, puts our hydrogas into the tanks. As you look down here, pan down, this is a, a meter that we calibrate, that, and we set the rate to put inside there. Right now, it, it's highballed. It's up on top, but there's no resistance on here. As soon as you put it down there, you'll see that ball drop back down. Go ahead and throw it inside there. See the ball dropping back down? Mm -hmm. So it's blowing at uh, two, and this is uh, liters per minute, I believe. Okay, so at, at some point, every tank is going to have one of these devices. Every tank does have one. They have one now? Right now, yes, sir. Each tank has their own All 40 tanks device. Have, have this uh, same uh, setup. So right now what I'm going to be doing is taking a water sample 
and after I get this sample we will take it to the lab and do a water analysis on it. We will be checking nitrites on it. And then after I collect all of my samples, we'll go into the lab and run those analyses on me. Okay, now, we've already established the fact you're a Texas A&M graduate. Uh, what do you hope to be doing five years from now? In five years, I hope to be having this guy's, <laughs> this guy's job right here. Um, you want Michael's job in five years? I sure do. Uh, Michael, do you think she can do it? I think she can do it next month. Okay. That's how much faith All I right. have in her. All right. We'll, the, the next segment will be uh, in the laboratory analyzing the water. Thank you very much. So like he mentioned previously, I graduated from Texas A&M at Galveston. I have a degree in marine biology and also one in marine fisheries as well. And so... First, I'm going to start off. I already chose the correct test for this, which is going to be for the nitrites. Here is my blank for my first tank, and I will zero that out. And now that it is zeroed, I will start with my first sample. And I will continue to do that for the rest of these tanks. All right, well, thank you very much.